Kazakhstan, the heart of Eurasia. So, let's start our presentation. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, please wait while uh, the presentation is being uploaded. And uh, I want to tell you about the Kazakh ancient beliefs and religion that uh, partly still exist in our traditions. Please, next slide. Uh, ancient Kazakh tribals divided the world into the upper world, Tengri, sky, uh, middle world that included the earth, in Kazakh it goes like a jer, uh, and water, in Kazakh soup, and the lower, the other world, uh, the world of undead. Uh, th this model is represented in this slide. This is the ancient map of the uh, Turkish uh, tribals. Yeah, uh, please, next slide. <clears throat> uh, the sky uh, played a very important role for Kazakhs. Uh, people looked for the bright evening star Sholpan, that's Venus, uh, in the sky. Its appearance or disappearance was a signal of pasturing uh, or driving cattle in. Uh, also, they attached uh, a great importance to the placing of seven brigands in Kazakh, it's uh, the great beer discovered Timir Kazakh, uh, and then etc. Uh, the primacy of the Sholpan star was so great for Kazakh. Uh, please uh, turn to the previous slide. It's possible. Yeah. Uh, the primacy of the Sholpan star was so much important that ancient people uh, considered uh, Venus as a great homeland of souls for the future people. Uh, now you can move. Uh, yeah. Also, Kazakh had the supreme goddess, Umay. Uh, patrons of health, children, and later of arts. Uh, the Kazakh Umay is similar for Mongolian Yetugen and the Indian Uma. Uh, please, next slide. Uh, the goddess Umay was imagined by ancient Kazakh as a young woman uh, with silver clothes uh, running out from the sky um, by a sunny bow, uh, keeping in hands uh, with a golden bow. Uh, the kind goddess went with the child until uh, it, his emancipation, taught singing and other arts. A uh, young mother believed that she uh, that Umay visited their children at night and worshipped him. In addition, they believed that the child's soul belonged to Umay up to three years, years after birth. Uh, they believed that with this she always stayed near the child. And uh, also, if the baby cried or was sick, it meant that Umay had left him. Please, next slide. Uh, always, uh, Kazakh, <coughs> Kazakh ancient tribals uh, paid great attention for the spirits. Uh, good spirits were the spirits of ancestors. Their names were used as a war cry uh, on the battles. And the evil spirits were extended into Albaste, Zhetrnak, Zhun, Konayak, and the others. Uh, Albaste was regarded as the evilest uh, spirit in uh, all mythology. Uh, Albaste's husband, Wood Goblin Sorel, often changed his appearance. He caught a traveler, tied him up uh, with the straps, and drove him until fell, he fell dead. Some elements of protecting against evil spirits is still exist uh, in our tra traditions, nowadays traditions. And uh, now, since Kazakhstan gained its independence in 1991, free practice of religion beliefs was guaranteed by the Constitution. Uh, latest statistics show that, that the country now has 2,300 Muslim Moscows, 258 Orthodox churches, 93 Catholic churches, 500 Protestant churches. Uh, despite full freedom of uh, religion provided by the Constitution, Islam finds the largest numbers at 65% of the population, uh, following by the Russian Orthodox Church uh, at 33%. The other Christian groups that also practice their beliefs are the Roman Catholics and the Protestants. The other religious groups that also have registered churches in the country are Judaism, Baha and Faith, Hinduism, Buddhism, and the Church of Christ of the Latter-day Saints. And uh, now uh, Asel will continue and tell you about the Kazakh traditions. So, Kazakh traditions. Kazakhs have always uh, revered and highly valued the national customs and the traditions. Uh, it's uh, almost impossible to describe all the traditions, um, <clears throat> all the traditions of, uh, followed by Kazakh people in one part of 
uh, presentation, but we will try to explain uh, the main traits. So the main tradition of Kazakhs, which uh, eventually transformed into a feature uh, of uh, national character, is hospitality. In Ka the Kazakh society, there is an unofficial um, law voiced in ancient times, which says uh, meet a guest uh, as the God's messenger. Another, uh, another positive feature of Kazakhs is respect for the elderly. Uh, so, <clears throat> traditionally, a child from the early childhood is thought to be moderated and honest uh, with when uh, dealing with older, wiser, and life experienced people. Uh, so, therefore, we offer to your attention a list of basic customs and traditions uh, which are widespread in Kazakh society. First part is traditions and customs associated with the guest reception. Uh, first of all, uh, I want to say about Konakase. Uh, Konakase is a custom associated with treating of a guest. As mentioned above, uh, Kazakh people si since uh, ancient times uh, have been f famous for their hospitality. Kazakh always um, reserved uh, the tastiest food for guests. And the guests are divided for three uh, types. Uh, first is Khudai uh, Konak, then Arnaya Konak, and Kadarma Konak. All the guests, despite of the, uh, uh, the types, are offered, uh, are offered uh, a rich table Konakasa. Next one is Konak Kadia, uh, the uh, tradition under which a host has a right to ask uh, the guest to sing a song or uh, play a music, uh, a musical instrument. Uh, of course, as long as uh, guest is known uh, with uh, her or his talents, mm, this ensuring some fun and joy uh, during the feast. Next one is Yerulek. Yerulek, a small celebration that allowed newcomers to quickly uh, adapt uh, to the new location. Um, so. And the last one is Tau Dastarhan. Tau Dastarhan is a special form of celebration organized for whole day or during it. Uh, in this day, uh, uh, are organized some uh, special sport competitions, music competitions, and the horse riding competitions. Uh, the next part, the second part, is traditions and the customs are associated with gift giving. Uh, uh, a custom. Shinsha, a custom according to which a traveler or an, any other person who brought home a good uh, message uh, receives a valuable gift from the owners. Uh, sometimes before telling the news, uh, a person says Shinsha, or would you give me uh, for a Shinsha? Uh, the next, Atman Gazab Shapan Jabu, is a higher honor. According to the t tradition, a respected visitor who may be a uh, poet, a hero, or warrior, butler, or other very respected man receives a gift from local residents. Uh, a horse, a horse, and a <coughs> splendid Shapan in recognition of their value. Uh, the last one is by Gaza, a tradition of giving a gift to person who acquired a new valuable thing. Uh, the third part, traditions and customs associated with birth and the upbringing of the uh, child. Uh, first is Shilte uh, Hana. Uh, and the, also, uh, uh, these traditions are very important in our tradition or in our culture. Shildehana is a celebration that is associated with ch uh, childbirth. Uh, next is Biske Salu, a holiday hosted when a uh, newborn is put a cardle, Bisek. Uh, this one, Bisek. Uh, after Karkanan <coughs> Shgaru, a ritual uh, performed on 14th uh, day after birth that includes bath baby in 40 uh, tablespoons water and uh, the first hair cut and nail cut and the other rituals. And so Kisu, uh, a day when the baby took the, his first steps and the oldest and the most respected people is invited to perform a ceremony so kisser, then he or she should uh, cut the special ropes beside baby's um, legs in order to ensure that in future the kid could walk nicely and uh, run fast and uh, uh, the last uh, custom is is that ceremony is held when a baby of five, uh, five or seven years old a big festival um, is organized after this. Uh, and uh, the fourth 
part is the most ancient traditions of Kazakh people, Ashamayga Utor Mengizu, and Bastanga. Ashamayga Mengizu is a ritual whereby a six, a seven years old boy was supposed to be given a horse and a whip. Uh, Bastanga is an <coughs> ancient analog of uh, contemporary jazz parties, and traditionally these uh, celebrations are conducted immediately after departure of um, adults. During Bastanga, guests express only one wish that the travel uh, of the adults would be accompanied by lack. Uh, the next um, one is our holidays. Now, Rose. Hello, everybody. Uh, I want to tell you about our holidays in Kazakhstan. Okay. Uh, about Eid. Uh, Eid it is a Muslim holiday uh, of huge value. During the Eid, uh, all people uh, cook a lot of na uh, national dishes such as barsak, shirpik, jitna, and other baking. It is obligatory to invite all your friends, neighbors, and relatives because the more you have guests at home, the more easier will be year for you. Uh, but also you have visit your neighbors too, at least seven neighbors. Next one. Okay, Nauris. Uh, Nauris, uh, it is one of the most ancient holidays on earth. It is celebrated more than 5,000 years and uh, it is holiday of spring and nature updating by many people of forward and central Asia. Uh, now it is celebrated on 22nd of March and it is considered to be a day of spring equinox. Uh, see for Kazakh cold months, March, now is, and usually on this day we have special shows in our square. Next one.
uh, now I want to tell you about uh, Kozy Korpesh and Bayan Sulu. Uh, it is a holiday of flowers. Uh, the story about Kozy Korpesh and Bayan Sulu is very similar to the story about Romeo and Juliet. On this holiday, it is uh, accepted to make a declaration of love and to set air lamps. As you can see. Uh, the next one is Union Day. Uh, that is a state holiday in Kazakhstan. It, it was noted on 1st of May. That's a very interesting holiday because all people of all nations in Kazakhstan gather in Central Square and show their uh, national dishes, customs, and culture. Uh, the next one is Constitution Day. Uh, it's celebrated on August 30. In date of its acceptance uh, on a national referendum in 1995. It is a very important day for all people in Kazakhstan. Next one. Uh, knowledge Day. It is a holiday of the beginning of new academic year. First of all, for pupils, students, and teachers. With special honor, we meet at school's first graders. Next one. And Independence Day. The main national holiday of Republic of Kazakhstan. This date is celebrated on 16th of December. On this holiday, we have special shows, games, but the most interesting is watching uh, fireworks in the night. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I want to tell you about gender roles and statuses. Um, division of labor by gender. There is a wide distinction in Kazakhstan uh, between home and work. Uh, Women occupy very important roles in care and workforce. There are, for example, uh, teachers, bank presidents, accountants, uh, police officers, secretaries, government uh, workers, and uh, make up almost half of the workforce in Kazakhstan. Uh, this may be a carryover from Soviet times when women uh, were a very important part of a system that depended on every citizen to work and contribute. Women are often the best students in school uh, and more qualified than men uh, for many of the jobs in Kazakhstan. However, often women uh, have not been promoted to the top positions in uh, national government and the private sector. Next slide. Uh, marriage and family. Marriage, is ca marriage in Kazakhstan is similar to that in USA and uh, Europe. The reasons and even the process of marriage in Kazakhstan are also very similar. Uh, while years ago it was common for women to marry uh, young, uh, but times have changed and uh, education has become uh, more important for both genders. <coughs> um, and marriages for people in their mid-twenties are becoming more common. Marriages are not arranged by parents, but are usually formed through dating and courtship. Interrational marriage is rare but tolerated. Uh, one of unique Kazakh traditions related to marriage is that the marriage between relatives up to the seventh generation is prohibited. Uh, such taboo helps us to um, prevent blood mixing and consequently benefit to the health of future offspring. Uh, traditional sequence of the ceremonies and rituals r related to marriage is the following. Any wedding ceremony in the Kazakh society is anticipated by Qudawak, matchmaking. Before the wedding, matchmakers come to the bride's house. Uh, their task is to agree with the closest relatives of a girl on her marriage. Uh, during courtship, father of the bride receives gifts from the guest and serve uh, as a deposit. Uh, if negotiations are successful, the father in turn uh, presents a code to the main matchmaker. Uh, this custom is called Shige Sapa. Preparation <coughs> of Kudawak Baur, a delicious dish from the liver and broad tail, fat also testifies to the successful completion of Kochi. Uh, the next stage of the ceremony is send off of the bride, Kosuzatu. Uh, in the evening before the Kosuzato, matchmakers come to the bride's house again. Number of visitors should be uh, not be even five or seven people. Early in the morning, the bride uh, with matchmakers in se is sent to the groom's house. Uh, solemn ceremony of meeting the bride in the groom's house is called Kelentusuru. 
Uh, the main element of Kilian Tosoro is a traditional performance of a song of instruction and wishes Beta Shar. Next slide. Now you can see a national traditional wedding dresses. Next slide. Next. Sorry. Uh, well, divorce. divorce is not un uh, uncommon, especially in the urban centers. It's viewed in Kazakhstan as it is an other part of the world. It's never ideal, but some marriages were not meant to last. It's not a <coughs> destiny like that. Uh, there are no formal rules for who gets what when a marriage ends, but women usually keep the children. Okay. Domestic unit. Households vary greatly in Kazakhstan. Some couples have only one or two children. Some <coughs> families have eight or nine children. Um, domestic units in Kazakhstan are very rarely just a mother, father, and their children. The practice of grandparents and extended family living within one household is very common. Kazakhs especially make very little distinction among cousins, second cousins, aunts, uncles, and grandparents. Kazakh also still largely <laughs> adhere to an old custom of care to the elderly. The youngest son in Kazakh families is expected to stay at home <coughs> until his parents die. He may take a wife and have a family of his own, but he is expected to care for his parents into their old age. Thank you. I want to know about you the national uh, symbols of Republic of Kazakhstan. The first is uh, national flag of the Republic of Kazakhstan. It's a piece of bright English clothes of the sky blue color, uh, with a picture of the sun with the rays in the center. Under them is a soaring steepy eagle. And the flagstaff has a vertical line with national ornament. The picture is of the sun, uh, its rise, eagle, and ornament of the garden color. Width length reach of the flag is uh, one to two. Uh, in the language of Herley, the blue color. Uh, its shades correspond to such human qualities and honesty, loyalty, and hope. A golden sun bathing the rays represent peace of the whales and steep eagle, general steel, and inside health of, uh, of uh, intention of Kazakhstan's people. The other source of the national flag of the Republic of Kazakhstan is the artist Shaken Yazbekov. The next uh, symbols of the uh, Republic of Kazakhstan is national emblem. Uh, the best of the national emblem of the Republic of Kazakhstan is Shanrak. Mm. It became to head the of the emblem. Uh, this is the integrity of the world, symbols and fundamental principles of the state, the state and its family. Uh, the five-pointed stars crown the emblem. Each person has his given own golden star. The government should also have such a star. The also of the national emblem uh, of the Republic of Kazakhstan is the architects Shota, Shota Walihanov and uh, Janarbek Malibekov. Uh, next, uh, it's the uh, national anthem of the Republic of Kazakhstan. Nurshtan uh, Nazarbayev, Zhimkin Nizhimedov, they wrote the text of national anthem. And the composer, uh, Shamshi Kaldayakov. Thank you very much. So, uh, also the main thing in the state is its capital. Astana is the capital of Kazakhstan. So, I'd like you to present a short video about this city.
in spite of this, Almaty, where we are from, is the heart of Kazakhstan, as we can see. All economics, financial resources I see there. Uh, it, it is also one of the best city in the world for us. I think after this video, you can understand us and feel what we feel when we hear its name. So Almaty is situated near mountains, as you can see, and we have uh, all that we want there. And uh, also we can say that it's our pride, it's our love, and it's our life. 
So we made many steps from Asian to nowadays, and I think that it's time to talk about another side of Kazakhstan, its business and economic. Doing business in Kazakhstan. Uh, Kazakhstan is the world's ninth largest country, and Kazakhstan occupies a vast but uh, relatively isolated space between Europe and Asia. Kazakhstan has a long and rich history. Today, Kazakhstan is an active market for foreign Where's business that? and investment, and understanding of this distributive Kazakhstan culture is essential for any organization or individual uh, wishing to do business in Kazakhstan. <coughs> Business in Kazakhstan uh, trends to take longer than in, a mo in a most Western uh, societies, so patience and taking time to establish relations with Kazakh colleagues is essential. Many people in Kazakhstan are Muslim, so it's not uh, uncommon for them to take breaks from work during the day for prayer. Um, be aware for this as you do business with Kazakhstan and try to schedule app uh, appointments around the prayer. Uh, Kazakh business culture deserves to strict hierarchical structure where leaders separate themselves from the group and the power is, distri uh, is distributed from the top. There is a general, <coughs> there is a general uh, only one key decision maker, a position occupied by the most senior person in a company. Uh, those in a more uh, subordinate position represent the business during meeting but do not have the authority to make decisions. The formula and structure of getting in Kazakhstan reflects the, posi the position a person has in society. And uh, I wanted uh, to say about e uh, etiquette in uh, Kazakhstan, business etiquette. Uh, do shake hands with uh, your Kazakh colleagues when arriving and leaving business decisions. When greeting a female colleague, however, you should always wait for her and imitate the handshake. Uh, the second, do accept an invasion to traditional Kazakh meal, as hosp hosp uh, hospitality is one of the most important parts of Kazakh culture and getting to know your business uh, counterparts on the more personal level in paramount of successful business interactions. Uh, do show represent towards your Kazakh business associated by the taking sensitive approach to uh, proper behavior and the cultural regress. Be aware in practical that number of Kazakhs are Muslim, therefore using the left hand to pass something to them, for example, could bring shame to the individual and should be avoided. Uh, do dress suitable, uh, suitable and uh, in a conservative manner. Uh, this is especially important for business women who should wear modest clothing. And uh, in the end of um, of this, uh, of the business of Kazakhstan, I want to uh, show you uh, our presentation. Where some saw a lonely horizon, we saw a world of possibility. Kazakhstan, a place open to innovation, open to progress, and open for business. In just 21 years, the people of Kazakhstan have reclaimed their traditions, their economy, and their future. If Kazakhstan can do all this in just over two decades, the future is wide open. Uh, now we want to uh, we want. We want to invite you, sung um, by our students. In she studied in Turin, and the song is Berbala. I choose this song uh, because it's a very, very old song. Uh, nobody knows the author or compositor. Um, so I want uh, to sing it in a cappella. Uh, its name is Pray. Субтитры 
Ой, мах жандарь. Я сам я кирген делан кезде. Ах, мах жан, жан жапетап я пугай. Жегетан.